All right, Schlag Monster fans, for the holidays. It's called Christmas Cruelty. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with a, clearly a bad guy who has an entire family tied up in the kitchen. And he's about to assault the uh, woman here he's got tied up, and there's a baby crying. Speaking of that baby... Good Lord. Merry Christmas, everybody. We got a group of friends hanging out here. It's getting close to Christmas time and they're doing some Christmas things. The girl tells them about Krampus. They decide to create uh, Krampus masks for themselves. And they get costumes. And with that, they decide to go out and scare people. Some people get scared, some people just find it funny. Now here's a pervert. Looking at girls online, licking the computer screen. And now he's about to do other things. So anyway, they go buy a Christmas tree and eat some G's. <laughs> Our lead character records his own song. Anyway, our gang has their own little private Christmas party. And they pay for it the next morning. Hangover suck. Now, the pervert we saw earlier, jerking off and uh, looking at the computer screen, licking it. He's driving through town, he's taking notes on uh, our friends in the apartment. He's got plans. Now, here he is with his own family, his daughter, his wife, and we're seeing flashbacks to uh, some horrific things he's done. Remember that baby at the beginning? He tells his daughter a Christmas story, a bedtime story about Krampus. I love this guy's DVD collection. Thriller. Serbian film, a couple of Ilsa movies. Back to our unsuspecting party goers <coughs> celebrating Christmas. Oops. <coughs> so the one guy takes him to the hospital with a broken nose, and then Santa appears. Santa brutalizes everybody. Once he's 
got everything safe and secure. It's got the girl tied up. The wheelchair guy is bound and gagged. And of course there's that man in the kitchen with no head anymore. You can guess what he's gonna do to the girl. But you know what? He's safe. He uses a condom. But it's coitus interruptus when another couple comes to the door. So he's got to put his mask on again. And with a girl tied up, he does this to the boyfriend in front of her. And I found this kind of amusing. He had to go to the bathroom to take a leak. He brought the head into the bathroom, but... Can't pee with someone looking at him. Back to the girl, and uh, he wants to ride the fire truck. I really can't show this. I won't tell you how he got blood in his mouth. In a lighter moment, they're trying to get back in. And he has the funniest insults I've ever seen. Which ends with snickerdoodle. Anyway, our killer decides to wash all of his clothes and take a shower. Yes, he's got brittle bone disease. Ugh. Our killer goes into the kitchen. He's very frustrated because he can't find any tools. So he takes the wheelchair guy's credit card, goes to the store to buy a chainsaw. It's the apartment building. Remember that girl by the door whose boyfriend got her head cut off? She's victim number one with the chainsaw. Our wheelchair bound man is number two. Merry Christmas, everybody. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know what, even how to comprehend what I just saw in this movie. It's called Christmas Cruelty. It's a Norwegian film. Came right from Norway. From first-time directors. I'm going to pronounce this wrong, I'm sure. Per Ingvar Tomren and Magnus Steinswolf. They were the actually the two leads, the two male leads in this movie. The guy in the wheelchair and his uh, friend with the guitar. Wow. Um, it starts out uh, with that baby scene in the beginning, which just shocked the living shit out of me. I've never seen anything quite like that either. I was literally jolted. I, I just couldn't believe what I had seen. And then it kind of calms down immediately after that. We see a Christmas season. We see some friends getting together. They're planning you know, their Christmas holiday. They get drunk. Meanwhile, there's this guy, this older guy, a uh, middle-aged man, um, uh, doing Christmas stuff with his family, his little daughter and stuff, and um, he's taking notes and he's uh, apparently planning to kill some people um, around Christmas time. So that's what he does, and he's chosen um, our our two guys, the guy in the wheelchair, their friend, and anybody else who happens to be at their apartment. He comes in with his Santa suit um, and he just starts uh, bludgeoning people. Uh, he's got a hammer there. Um, he saws one guy's head off. The guy with the hammer in the kitchen, he just just hammered away until the head was gone. Uh, of course, he raped uh, the woman there, and then he raped her with a knife uh, and cut her open. Then he went down on her and got blood all... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't... Oh, man. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> uh, it was a funny scene, kind of. I mean, you got to take all this with a... Oh, Jesus. Um, there was a scene, actually, where um, he was getting very frustrated in the kitchen. Uh, he's like... There's no tools in this apartment. Isn't there any tools? He's looking for some tools. He can't find any, so he gets really mad. He grabs the wheelchair guy's wallet and pulls out his credit card, and he's like, give me the code. Give me the code. If you don't give me the code, I'm going to skin that other girl alive. There was one girl left. There, Two other people joined the party, as you saw. 
Um, they cut one guy's head off immediately. The other girl was still alive by the door. He gives him the code, and then he goes down to the store and buys a chainsaw, of course. Brings the chainsaw back, and then uses the chainsaw on that girl first, and then he uses it on the guy and chops him up. Wow, what a film. What a freaking film this was. I, I, wow. Um, uh, now, how do you get this film? I'd, I'd heard about this film a couple on a couple of boards that I'm on. They were talking about this film. I was like, ah, that looks kind of interesting. But I tried to find it on eBay. It couldn't. I'd look on Amazon. Nothing. I mean, the movie exists. It's just, it was like, where the hell is it? How can I get a hold of this movie? Well, somehow I tracked down, I think it was the Facebook page of the director. Um, and uh, I sent him an instant message. I said, hey, can I get this movie? Where can I get this from? And uh, about a week later, he responded, here you go. And he, he says, let's do PayPal. And I sent him it. And he sent this all the way from Norway. It was actually uh, pretty decently priced, too. I think it was like $15 or so. So anyway, this came. And I, I'm just blown away by it. Wow. It's quite a film. It is it is repugnant. It is brutal. It is um, it's one of the most brutal things I've ever seen in a film. And I just watched the Serbian film about a week ago as well. So... Wow, this is something. So anyway, I do highly recommend this movie. If you're fans of the horror movies, this kind of thing, this is right up your alley. This is shock value through the roof. It's 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 incredible. And you know what? It's very well made too. And you know what else was great about this? The soundtrack. I loved the soundtrack of this movie. Some of the I think most of the songs were actually written by the two guys or sung by the two guys at least. Um, there was some good stuff in there. So anyway, all around, it's a great film. I really enjoyed it. Um, it makes you sick to your stomach, but that's what exactly that this film was supposed to do, right? Um, there is not an English soundtrack for this film, but there are English subtitles on this DVD, so it's Christmas Cruelty. I actually contacted the director again yesterday to see if I can uh, put a link to his Facebook page down below if anybody else wants to buy this movie, because it is very hard to find. I um, haven't heard back from him yet, but if he does, I will put a link down below where you can get this film yourself. If not, try to track it down, because it's well worth it. It's called Christmas Cruelty. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. Watch it. Bye. Lord.